Hi all, welcome to Java Tech Boost. In the current world where organizations recognize the great benefits of DevOps, many people struggle to understand how to start on this journey. Many struggle to understand are they going to fit into this entirely? The purpose of making this video is to bring such top 5 questions that you must know if you are looking to shift your career towards DevOps. Are you a DevOps engineer or thinking of getting into DevOps? If the answer is yes, then make sure to watch this video till the end. Please like and subscribe to my channel to get notified about my latest videos. So let's begin. DevOps is one of the hottest buzzwords in IT tech. It is a collaboration between the development and operations team and so called as development operations or in short DevOps. Okay, but what does that mean? It means that traditionally the developers, people who create softwares were vastly different from operations team, people who run software. And there was a huge difference in the responsibility of both of them. After developers create a software, they hand over to operations team, whose responsibility is to deliver the software to production smoothly. In order to automate this process, DevOps came as an idea to have one group will now share both the pain and the responsibility of building, deploying, testing the software delivery process. It is a new form of software development that has revolutionized the way software products are developed and distributed. So let's quickly jump to the first question. What are the prerequisites to become a DevOps engineer? The key for DevOps is automation. DevOps professionals should work on automating the most important part of the server and infrastructure deployment process. There are certain DevOps automation tools out there in the market, which each DevOps engineer should know about. This is one of the most important skills of a DevOps engineer. But don't think of any long list. You need not to have all of them at once. Rather, you can gain some skills with experience as well. Most popular DevOps tools are like Bitbucket, Jenkins, Puppet, Docker, etc. I am going to release my next video where I will be explaining about some most important DevOps tools and their use case in detail. Another prerequisite for any DevOps engineer is to have basic programming knowledge. You should be able to debug chunk of code if the need is to resolve build and deployment errors so that the development cycle does not have to bounce back between development and deployment. Thus, you can save a lot of time as well as resource. Also, knowledge of programming can apply to build tools that will help automate various processes. Now, let's jump to the next question. People usually ask, I want to be a DevOps engineer. From where I should start learning? So before you get into DevOps engineer learning journey, you should be clear with what a DevOps engineer does. Just like a software engineer, DevOps engineer can create code of an application. However, DevOps engineer takes care of build, deployment and operations after the code is developed. Much of the daily work is related to build and deployment, communicating the result to the respective teams, automation and configuration. In short, DevOps engineer works as a bridge between development and the operations team. Now, as a beginner, try to understand what a system administrator as an infrastructure operation team does. Slowly start reading about various DevOps tools. Another thing you should do is to get a good grasp of software development lifecycle, get the basic programming knowledge on few coding languages like Python, Java, and so on. Another quick question. People usually ask, what are the different job titles, roles and responsibility available for a DevOps engineer? Now, within a DevOps organization, you can expect job title like DevOps engineer, build engineer, reliability engineer, configuration manager. You can Google search for these individual roles, but on the high level, if you know the DevOps basic prerequisite and having understanding of DevOps tool, you can be fitting in any of these roles as a beginner and then explore 
based on your interest and opportunity. Coming to the next question, what is the average salary pay for a DevOps engineer? There are various charts showing the salary comparison for a DevOps engineer compared to software engineers. This chart is prepared based on the information provided on various websites like Glassdoor, etc. The bottom line is a DevOps engineer earns almost 1.5 times more in general. And that's the reason this is one of the hottest buzzwords in IT tech. Next question, what is the market need for a DevOps engineer? Looking at the below image, you can see that 81% of the enterprise are using DevOps practices along with 70% of small to medium business. Companies are moving so fastly towards DevOps because of various features. DevOps engineer ranks number two on Glassdoor 50 best job ranking in the USA. DevOps engineer has seen more than 200% jump in job posting on Indeed according to a Times report. With this, I hope you have got the basic knowledge on how to start your DevOps journey. Hope it helps. Please provide in the comment section the related topics you are looking for. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Java tutorial videos.